Hey, Joe. Hey, Barry. So we've been making all these tier lists lately. I say it's time we rank Cubs prospect videos. Oh, absolutely. Surely the good American people at home want to hear our thoughts on these videos. Joe Madden has uploaded absolute goaded content for over eight years now as of 2023. And I think this list needs to be made now. What list? Ranking the Cubs prospect videos, Joe. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I remember now. Yeah, you never hey guys, know. What's going on? Donald, where are you at, bro? We said eight o'clock. Why are you on your phone? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just leaving the strip club right now. I think this one baddie was really into me. I almost got her Discord handle. Total kitten material. Don't tell Melania, though. I'll be at my PC and a few dogs. Jesus Christ, this guy is always late. Relax, Joe. Let's get this list started ourselves. He will join us shortly. All right, sounds good. But just a reminder, Jill and I are playing Warzone at 9, so let's get this going. Oh, shit. I'll get Michelle on so we can play squads. Okay, bet. So let's just go with this random order I generated. First up, we have Cubs prospect Chris Bryant. Personally, I think this is an easy A-tier video. It laid down the fundamental framework for Chris Bryant's personality across all his appearances in the videos of the Madden channel. I totally agree. There's no doubt that his passion and interests are effectively conveyed to the viewer in the channel's early days. This is a true quintessential exhibition of the KB we know and love. Not to mention it has a goaded soundtrack. That's mad facts. I still fuck with hunks and his punks to this day. Oh my God, same. They are on pretty much all of my playlists. Cubs prospect Chris Bryant is just a simple classic OG prospect era vid. There's really no need for a background story or any additional components. However, I do think that other later entries to the channel have a bit more complexion and depth, which perhaps excludes it from S tier. Agreed. Easy A tier then. Drop that shit. All right, next up we have Cubs prospect Kyle Schwarber, part one. Oh, damn, I love Kyle Schwarber. I think it's the first video where we hear Joe Madden's voice, which is obviously another iconic character in the Maddenverse. Maddenverse? Love that term, Joe. We got to start using that. But yeah, I remember the first time I heard Madden's distorted mic, I laughed my ass off. His analysis of Schwarber in this video is goaded and actually foreshadowed how he is a top power hitter in the current MLB. For real, Barack, Madden was spitting straight facts in this video. Not to mention the ending with the hunks and his punks music is certified G shit. I would put this video in A tier. What do you think, Barry? I have no issue with that. While we're on Schwarber's video, I think we should put part two in a much lower tier. What the hell? Why would we do that, Barry? I remember enjoying part two much more than part one. It's the exact same video, Joe. Oh, is it actually? All right, it should go in C tier just because Madden's analysis is so funny that I enjoyed it just as much as the first. Hey, yo, what up, bitches? I'm back. Sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it, Don. Guys. Hey, Sleepy Joe figured this would be past your bedtime. Oh, would you shut up, man? Guys, please, it hasn't been five seconds. Okay, let me hop into your stream, Barack. I've been dying to get this prospect tier list going for the American people. Hey, if this list ends up not being complete dog shit, you should plug it during the weekly presidential address, Sleepy Joe. Donald, I told you I don't like when you call me that. I'm wide awake, bro. Holy shit, you guys only rank two videos and the tier list is already ruined. What do you mean? You guys are tripping balls if you think Chris Bryant is anything less than S tier. Are we forgetting one of the top moments in prospect history where hunks and his punks actually make an appearance? That shit was so funny, I legit almost shat myself on my new gaming chair. Oh, me too, Donald. Well, that's not a surprise, Joe. Don't you wear diapers now? Donald, I don't wear diapers, you orange bastard. While that is a god-tier moment, Trump, Joe, and I were making the point that later prospect videos have some more intellectual depth and storylines that might appropriately leave Chris Bryant... Since when does intellectual depth matter in prospect videos? Well, if you guys are both in on A-tier, I guess I'll suffer and we can just move on to fixing Schwarber Part 2. We were discussing how Part 2 would probably go in a lower tier because of its unremarkable similarity to the first. However, there's no denying that it's mad funny a second time. Fine. Okay, Barry, that's a good point. I feel like we should just move on to the next video. This isn't really worth debating further. Yeah, let's just put part two in B tier. C tier, Joe. It brings nothing new to the table. Okay, Barry, you a real one, so I'm fine with that. All right, next we have Cubs prospect Javier Baez. Before you guys say anything, this should go straight into A tier. Although some of the text is hard to make out, I think this video is pretty flawless. I honestly think this video was responsible for Baez being called up to the big leagues so fast. A YouTube video with 35 views isn't going to bring someone up to the big leagues, but I do agree that this video is pretty flawless. It has that classic prospect video feel from that early 2015 era. Yeah, guys, I agree. I also raw full coptered at the Illuminati symbol between his legs towards the end. I heard that Joe Madden thinks that Baez has the highest baseball IQ out of any ball player he's ever coached. 
He likely must have seen some of his skills in this video. Oh shit, that's true. Madden did say that, Joe. I really like Javi Baez, even though he strikes out pretty much every time he steps up to the plate. He also forgot how many outs there were in that game a few days ago, and his manager had to take him out. Yeah, I also just dropped his ass in fantasy for the third straight year. This is an easy A-tier video. Next, we have Jorge Soler and Albert Almora. I grouped them together because I feel like they are pretty similar. Holy shit, these videos are funnier than the SpongeBob chocolate bar episode. I agree, Joey Madden was cooking with these music-driven prospect videos. In Jorge, we not only get a glimpse of his insane power hitting, but also an interview in his dong. Plus that DMX song slaps. I play that shit for the dogs. I'm dog sitting all the time. Rest in peace, my homeboy Earl Simmons. I'd have to say A tier for both. I swear all you Democrats have mental disabilities. These are undisputedly S tier videos. The zooming and editing in this video effectively display the abilities of these cubby icons and are just fucking goaded. What else needs to be said? Not every video can be S tier Donnie. These videos were definitely hilarious, but I don't think they are particularly groundbreaking in comparison to some of the later videos like Spids or the Eloy tribute video. Well spoken, Barack, I'd say B tier at the least. Fine. By the way, it's truly a miracle either of you two room temperature IQ morons even graduated high school. I loved high school. It's when I first realized baseball was the most cracked sport on the planet, at least until Valorant came out. It's settled then. Jorge and Albert are B-tier videos. Oh my God, fine. I get to rank the next video, though. Guys, hold on. I'll be right back. I need to grab another Mountain Dew. I'm parched as a motherfucker out here. Okay. Next up, we have Cubs Prospect Spids and Spids Part 2. What do you think about Part 1, Donnie? Well, we all know that Spider-Man is the gayest superhero, C-tier at best. What the fuck, Trump? Spider-Man is OP as hell. He saved your beloved city multiple times and makes out with Mary Jane in a spider web. Why are you putting Spids so low? He's not even a baseball player. Sure, the story is hilarious, such as when Marshawn Lynch bullies Ben Parker into committing suicide, but I just don't see this video cracking C-tier. It's a mid-video. It lacks vital elements of what I think creates a truly legendary C-spec vid. I hate being argumentative, but Trump, you are absolutely bugging. Spids is a busted baseball player. There is clearly a scene of him cranking an absolute mook shot over the right field wall at Wrigley. In the playoffs, nonetheless. Oh shit, Barry, I did forget about that. That was a fucking mook shot. Also, the story is arguably the best in any of the prospect videos. It takes the viewer through a journey of highs and lows and thoroughly details Spider-Man's tragic history and how it motivates him on the field. Uncle Ben's death was tragic as hell, though. I still pour one out for my boy BP every once in a while. But anyways, this is an S-tier video. I fucking love this video, guys. I love the epic introduction and that beautiful Marvel soundtrack. Oh my God, Sleepy Joe. Barack, you make a compelling argument. Despite me thinking Spider-Man is among the gayest superheroes of all time, I will say that Madden definitely showed how cracked he is at the sport. This is an S-tier video. I'm actually not too mad about this one, guys. I could see that video being a fan favorite, honestly. How about Spids Part 2? We all know that Spider-Man 2 pizza theme is gas at any volume. Fuck that shit. I've suffered through those levels like 500 times, and that music is like a dog whistle in my brain to this day. I swear to God, there's 20 of them too, and they're all impossible after level 10. Donald, I thought you said you hated Spider-Man. Anyways, yes, yeah, some of the other audio in the video is harder to make out, which I think detracts from the overall quality of this video. Also, goddamn, I'm parched as a motherfucker out here. I'll be back in a few guys gonna grab a Mountain Dew. Yeah, I could barely hear the convo between Iron Man and Spider-Man in that one scene. I did really like the incorporation of the Spider-Man plug-and-play soundtrack, though. That game was actually fun as hell. B-tier video overall. I was thinking C-tier just because the first time I listened to it, I turned up the volume in my new Beats by Dre and had my brain combusted when that ear rape started. I guess you'll never learn your lesson, Barack. Watching any C-spec video is basically risking becoming deaf. True Trump. B-tier content. Okay, next we have Heisenberg. Easy A-tier for me. Not only did this include Walt and Saul Goodman, but also mentioned Kate Upton in the intro. Can I just say how Kate Upton is way past her prime? I would probably get more aroused listening to Barack's second inauguration speech. This aside, I would also put this video in A-tier, Barry. It was just really good overall. Yeah, I really like the part in this video when Walt gets his revenge on Angel Hernandez for calling him out on that bullshit strike three call by shooting him in the face. This video had a pretty elaborate storyline, and yeah, like you mentioned, Barack, I love the inclusion of Saul Goodman. 
The sex scene between him and Walt at the end was funny. I think we're all in agreement here, so let's move on to how to tie a tie. Just one more thing to add, Barry. Allow me to reiterate what a fucking travesty it is that Kate Upton is no longer in her prime. Trump, what are you talking about? She is an absolute dime piece. Anyone alive can see that. No, dude. Listen, go do yourself a favor and go on YouTube tonight and type in Kate Upton 2012. There's this one staring contest video where she challenges the viewer to maintain eye contact, and that shit is more impossible than all of those advanced Super Monkey Ball 2 master stages. And that's on God. All right, maybe I'll check it out, but there's no way you can convince me she's not in the top five hottest women on Earth. Okay, guys, let's keep this moving. How do we feel about how to tie a tie? This video was quite honestly weird as fuck. I mean, the guy in the video clearly doesn't know how to tie a tie. He keeps fucking up, and I just didn't really know what to make of it. And what was all that weird noise in the background that sounds like that shit I heard at Area 51? True. I'm with Donald on this. That young man in the video clearly had no idea how to tie a tie. This also just has nothing to do with baseball, to my understanding. It still has that goaded Joe Madden charm, though. I was still laughing the entire time. B-tier? C-tier, I'm just watching a fucking dumbass fumbling with a tie. Okay, C-tier's fine. Sure. All right, moving on. Javi's sister. Trash. Yep, absolute trash. Okay, settled. Going into the absolute trash category. Ernie Banks now. How are we feeling about that, boys? I mean, first of all, that comment was outrageous. Truly despicable. How could someone post that on a public YouTube channel? I didn't think it was that bad. All right, Donald. Anyways, I'm feeling a light absolute trash tear on this one. It just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, dead people kind of suck. Of course, Sleepy Joe says that. You couldn't be more than a second away from death's door. Agreed. Fuck you guys. All right, easy trash tear then. Unless you've got anything else to say, Donald? No, nothing. Yeah, Barack, let's just move the fuck on and go back to having fun. I'll put them in this row then. How do we feel about Adam Jones? Damn Cubs prospect Adam Jones was so funny, I still ask Jill if she has collinear density postulates and or gorilla glue to this day. Besides Cubs prospect Aroldis Chapman, I think this video might have the most godlike Madden Channel dialogue of all time. The phone interview bit is so well done, and I really like the appearance of Alfonso Soriano at the end. Joe, I can't believe you remembered Alfonso Soriano at the end. I'm actually kind of impressed. I love when Joe Madden answers the phone call from Adam Jones and you just immediately hear blasting static. His voice is just so hilarious. I also love how Jorge Soler and Adam Jones sound identical when they talk to each other. I wonder why they chose him to do a video on. He's just another... Wait, what is that? Joe? Holy shit, there is no shot. Joe fell asleep. This jackass never ceases to blow my mind. Jill needs to wheel his ass out of the Oval Office and into a nursing home tonight. Ha ha, brutal. Donald, I'm wide awake. Shut the fuck up. I was just resting my eyes, you annoying Lorax-looking bitch. You know what? I think you're just still mad about losing that election. It was over 10 years ago, buddy. It's time to move on. It was just over two years ago. Senile Joe and I am over it. I'm so fucking far from senile Trump. Literally 1v1 me in Valorant. I will torch your ass into a different shade of orange. Joe, you are literally so trash at the game. Just because you watch hentai doesn't make you good. I'm taking this from the guy who has gone to every furry convention in New England since 2008. Wait, how did you? Barack, please don't put that in the video. Guys, can we just finish ranking Adam Jones? I'm thinking high A tier on this one. Perfect. Sure. Next we have, oh shit, I forgot about the other tribute video to Eloy. Unlike those other tributes, this one is straight up goaded. Wouldn't you guys agree? I don't remember this one very well, actually. Was this the one with his tombstone at the end that says, Biggie and Dop the radar on it? Yeah, but the best part is the choreography to Thaw Crossroads by Bone Thugs and Harmony. The best part is how he isn't actually dead. Such a random ass idea to make a rest in peace tribute video to a guy who was in the process of signing a major league deal at the time. S tier caliber video, the premise alone is goaded. I'm not sure about S-tier Donnie. It just doesn't have that over-the-top, dome, slug-top, G-iconic vibe. I agree. It's just a couple notches below S-tier Donald. I feel like you guys disagree with almost everything I say. I need another Republican helping me out with this. How come George is never online anymore? I think George has been playing a lot of MLB The Show lately on PlayStation 5. God damn it. I can't believe those fuckers didn't release a PC port. Do you know how badly I want to play as the Cubs in a baseball video game? That's facts, though. They said they were going to and doubled back. We need a good baseball game for PC. But anyways, let's move on to Cubs prospect David Ross. I remember feeling so sad when they fired Madden after the 2019 season. But I did have some hope knowing that they hired Grandpa Rossi as his replacement. 
He was such an awesome, likable guy throughout his career, and this video was very representative of that. That was a solemn day for sure, but Joe, you're absolutely right. Cubs prospect Grandpa Rossi was so fucking funny. I hated that bitch when he was on the Red Sox, but on the Cubs, he was a certified hype beast and was a great leader. That YouTube poop dialogue between Rizzo and the ESPN reporter was mad funny, especially when he's talking about Mike Napoli beating his wife and enjoying pickle limbo, not to mention the femur breaker ear rape audio when he guns down that guy at first base. Oh my God, Limbo is so much fun, guys. I remember playing that back in the day all the time. Yeah, you don't want to try that now, Joe. You're already close enough to death as is. Donald, there's one thing you need to understand, and it's that Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. was a Limbo God. Joe, has anyone told you that your middle name is straight up retarded? Oh, would you shut up, man? Holy shit, Trump, shut up, bro. All right, guys, we got to keep this moving. All right, sorry, Joe. Okay, Grandpa Rossi is a solid B tier. It's all right, Donald. I know you can't help yourself. Put it in B tier. Barry Trump is right. Sure. Um, next, we have Billy Crystal. I wish I had a goose penis so I could spiral into your rectum. Arguably the greatest phrase ever spoken in the existence of the space-time continuum. Guys, I'm going to freak out if this doesn't go into S tier. I don't care that it has nothing to do with baseball. It's just so funny. I can't even believe it. I didn't know it was possible to fit so much crack tarth content in such a short length video. Cubs prospect Billy Crystal is probably the greatest masterpiece to ever be uploaded to YouTube besides this one Team Fortress 2 gameplay I saw a few years ago. Well said, guys. Let's just put it alongside Spids 1. Oh, damn, how are we feeling about the KB sex tape, boys? I straight up puked. I was laughing so hard the first time I watched this. It's just so well made all around. I feel like it is one of the most professional C-Spec videos, too, or at least the pre-sex part is. Definitely. I feel like I'm watching a movie almost. I also love at the one minute, 59 second mark where they show the teleporter from TF2. Joe, how the hell can you remember something like that when you can barely remember your first name? Don't act like you haven't watched this video a million times, Donnie. It's the most popular Cubs prospect video to date with over 4,000 views. And until the release of Coach B, this was definitely the most edgy video I feel like. From start to finish, this is just pure comedic gold. Some people actually believed it was real, I heard. Yeah, I heard that as well. If this isn't deserving of an S-tier classification, I don't know what is. Pop that shit in S-tier, Barry. I'm totally going to watch that after we play Warzone. Wait, you guys are playing Warzone? Let me in on that. I just reinstalled it last night. Sorry, bud. We already got a full lobby. Me, Barry, Jill, and I about to rip some dubs. Joe, you said your name twice, dumbass. But you know, I literally destroy kids in that game. Come on, bro, I'm playing with you guys. I think Michelle and I are probably only going to play one, so you could hop on after Donnie. What are you guys even talking about? Let's just put the sex tape in S tier already. Next, we have Eris Mendy and Cubs Prospect Y. I grouped them together because they use the same song, which has words no one but me is allowed to recite, I think. Yeah, unless you're Donald speaking anywhere ever. Shut up, Robinette. You are so racist, it's unbelievable. But boys, Eris Mendy is hilarious. I feel like it's similar to some other videos that have a great soundtrack, show highlights, and then have brief interview clips. This video has all of those elements, which makes it a very solid prospect video. I would put this in A tier. That's valid, Trump. I think that there is definitely a bit of a formula to make great prospect videos. And um, Eris Mendy is a solid example of that. I'd go A tier as well. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, I wouldn't quite say there's a formula for making great videos, though. I feel like each video is unique and innovative to some extent. I was going to say B tier, but I'm fine with A tier. I particularly love the weird shot of Starlin Castro changing colors and pixelating. Oh, damn, I forgot about that. I think Cubs Prospect Y should go in C tier, guys. It's just random as shit. It's somehow still hilarious, though. I don't think I will ever understand why they always put the letter Y in half of the videos in that early era, but I got used to laughing at it for no reason. Yeah, put it in C tier, Barry. The video is super short and isn't anything too special. Perfect. Wow, that was easy, guys. All right, now let's rank Addison Russell and CJ Edwards. You know, I really liked Addison Russell a lot, but he's just such a moron for beating his wife. I just don't know why these guys do it. Yeah, I don't know. And Joe, I know you might disagree with this based on what you were saying about the uniqueness of each video, but I feel like these two videos kind of fit the formula I was talking about and there's nothing wrong with it. The FaZe Clan music in Addison Russell and the gangster rap in CJ are iconic tunes. Also, Dead Babes and Nausea is probably my favorite line in prospect history. It really does sound like he actually said Dead Babes and Nausea in that interview. Yeah, and I like the tasteful use of ear rape in these videos as well. 
These are both solid A-tier videos. There's nothing like these 2015 era videos, guys. They truly did foreshadow the Cubs Nation hype. Yeah, let's do A-tier. It's hard to find anything bad in either video. They are pretty flawless. I like how we are all on the same page, boys. Let's keep moving. Next up, we have um, Jen Hoseng, who I would also put in the A-tier. The visuals are so underrated, I encourage you guys to run it back. Barry, just when I think we are on the same page, you say some shit like that individuals belonging anywhere near A-tier. What do you mean? Did you guys know this absolute bot had a 2-15 and 15 record as a starter in AAA Iowa with a 6.2-something earned run average? I mean, that's hilarious, but what does that have to do with his prospect video on the Madden channel? We aren't ranking players by their um, abilities. Yeah, like that's a horrible stat line and everything, but Donald, the video is freaking hilarious. Like Barack was saying, the visuals of showing him to be the leader of North Korea and saying why, though, was a knee slapper to say the least. Okay, fine, but I hate that guy so much. I actually followed AAA Iowa because I had so much fun watching the prospect videos. Jen Ho Seng was so garbage, guys, trust me. Me too, but I don't remember him having that shit of a season. A or B tier then, guys? A tier. Fine, but that guy sucks so bad at baseball, don't be fooled by the video. How do we feel um, about Cubs prospect Eddie Vedder? I like that part of the video where daughter is dubbed over him singing at Wrigley. It reminds me of that part in Cubs prospect Heisenberg when Saul does a similar thing. Also, guys, this one time I went to Folly Beach in New Jersey and I lost my wallet in the sand. Hello? Yeah, Joe, I like that part too. I'm not a big prequel fan, but that part from episode three where Vetter kills the younglings for calling him daughter is hilarious. A-tier video. Facts. Me neither, Trump. I'm more of a BB-8 kind of guy, but that was a certified sob alert moment. I'm fine with A-tier. All right, perfect. And on the topic of Star Wars, let's rank Gliber Torres. I love the backstory of this one. It's so funny seeing him have a lightsaber duel with his father who doesn't want him to sign with the Cubs. Again, I don't like the prequels, but that was just too funny. Another A-tier, maybe B-tier, just because it isn't one of the more memorable videos. No, I think this is A-tier caliber. You're forgetting the hilarious color-changing batting highlights at the end. Oh, I remember that. Dude, Gleiber really made it big. Sucks, he went to the Yankees. The Cubs could really use him these days. True, man, I really wish all those guys were still together like that 2016 roster. Truly a once-in-a-lifetime lineup. But anyways, yeah, fuck Star Wars, but I would put Gleiber in A-tier. Holy shit, I almost forgot about the gay bar toilet picture at the end. Now I'm starting to think S tier, but let's just put it in A and move on. Okay. Guys, we only have a handful of videos to rank left. I'm really happy how this list is turning out. Hell yeah. All right, feed us some more, Barry. Slim Shady is next. Um, guys, I've heard a lot of rap music in my day, and this freestyle is complete garbage. I can't see myself putting this above a D tier rank. Barack, I have been listening to the Eminem show on repeat lately, and... Wait, hold on a second, guys. I'm getting a, a call from someone. BRB. The freestyling isn't actually that bad. Barry, you got to give it another listen. I mean, sure, maybe it's not on par with Marshall Mathers himself, but the way they synced it up to Eminem on stage was God tier. This is realistically another A tier, my supposedly Hawaiian-born friend. I don't know, dude. I do like how there's multiple prospects included, though. The voices are just dead-ass hilarious across the Maddenverse. Yeah, Chris Bryan is hilarious. Come on, bro. I'd be willing to come up to C-tier, but the rapping is just kind of cringe. I think if they just wrote some of the lyrics out, it um, would have made the whole thing funnier. Maybe so, but as Sleepy Joe was pointing out before, it is kind of the nature of prospect videos to bring something unique and creative to the table each time. I think it was very creative and innovative to have Jorge freestyling. B-tier Barry, put it in. You make a good argument, Trump. To B-tier it goes. I think Joe would agree. But for time's sake, let's discuss where to put Coach B. Hello. Who the hell is this? It's me, Chris Bryant, of course. I was just stopping by to give my little love bug Joey a kiss before I head back to Colorado for the game tonight. Okay, what the actual fuck is going on right now? Holy shit. Trump, is that you? I'm a very sensitive man, and you need to stop being such a homophobe, big boy. You're a very strong man, and I need a... Holy shit, Joe Biden is having an affair with Chris Bryant. I fucking knew he had a boy toy since taking office, and I guess I'm not surprised it's KB. Dude, what the fuck? God knows what he was really up to when I was in office all those years. I wonder what Jill would do if she found out. Hey, boys, sorry about that. Got an unexpected call from the, uh... I got an unexpected call from my pal Barack Obama. I'm literally in the Discord. Just be honest with us, brother. Yeah, Joe, what was really going on when you disconnected just now? 
Okay, fine, you guys got me. Somehow Chris Bryant made his way into the Lincoln bedroom and was naked on the floor. One thing led to another, and I don't really know how I feel about it. Jesus Christ, we have another Bill fucking Clinton. Joe, it's fine. We are all best friends and we won't tell anyone. Come on, boys, let's just keep ranking the videos. We're almost done now. Yeah, despite that being fucking bizarre, you guys are still my best friends, too. Everything's fine. Let's finish the list. Appreciate it, boys. I got to be honest. I don't really know where I am right now. So let's finish this shit up. That's definitely a good spot for Slim Shady, by the way. We were just starting to rank Coach B. This video was extremely graphic, and it is a mystery to me how that shit didn't get the channel banned. I mean, the guy runs around killing people with a giant purple dildo, including his son. That's fucked. I think this video took shit too far, but there's no denying it has some insane attention to detail. I'm not big on the graphic content either, although I once again was laughing my ass off until my head hurt at this video. I remember feeling almost frightened that the fucking pussies at YouTube would take it down. Luckily, it's just age restricted now. It's just so well made. I don't really know where they got the concept of Coach B from, but he partakes in some certified hood shit. Remember when Javier Baez was out of line and he stomped him to death with spiked metal cleats? Or when he stuck that dildo in Chris and Anthony's eye sockets? Coach B was a menace and an incredible character. True. I feel like the computerized narration over the slowed down center field song was the best possible way to tell the story, too. All this said, I think we have to drag this to S tier. Definitely, Barry. We only have two entries on S tier so far, by the way. We are making it an extremely exclusive category, but I do like the way it's looking. This is an easy S tier, guys. Joe, it is now clear to me the only reason you like Coach B is because of those Chris Bryant scenes. Trump, I am so sick of your shit. Is this going to be the next thing with you? Can a brother have ear sex with a cubby once in a while? I'm the fucking president, for God's sake. Wait, you guys did what? Never mind. Wait a second. I just realized I don't see Aroldis Chapman or Jose Reyes on here, Barack. Those are two of my favorite videos. Guys, didn't you hear about that? They got taken down years ago. How could they do such a thing? I almost fucking forgot about those two videos. Cubs prospect Jose Reyes graced the Maddenverse with the most brutally hilarious thing I have ever seen since that video of Joe falling off his bike. Now that I think about it, nothing really holds a torch to the Trader Joe David Wright joke. Yeah, especially with that Reese's peanut butter commercial going on in the background, just like, what the fuck? That is an absolute masterpiece, boys. I can't believe I forgot to put it on here. Another unanimous S-tier decision. Definitely a contender for the best prospect video ever made. The background story is so weird and fucked up, but as Donald said, it's just brutally hilarious. I really love that video, too. Jose Reyes is the kind of sensitive man I need in my life. Oh, Chris, I can't contain myself. Let's just fucking do this right now. I don't care. Come on, Joey boy. Show me what you're made of, you old piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I think we're done here, Barack. Hold on. We still have a few videos left to rank. Come on, Noodle. We can do this. How do you feel about Kunta Kinte? Barack, there is no way in fuck's cunt I am going to be oh, yeah. able to continue a coherent, meaningful conversation with these oh, two yeah. literally oh, having yeah. sex. Think about the Cubs nation, Trump. Think about how far we've come. Stay strong and talk to me about Kunta Kinte. Well, it's fucking funny I can tell you that much. A tier? Yes, I suppose we don't need to talk too much about this one. Oh yeah, you're making me feel young again, you stupid fruit. How about David Ortiz? Before I even let you open your mouth, I will be using my mouse to drag this to S tier immediately. God tier cubby content. Most definitely. I was always convinced David Ortiz was part of some hidden terrorist organization. I think you have that skepticism about anyone who isn't white. Next we have... No, no, noodle. No, no, noodle. Sorry, Chrissy boy. I haven't busted a load since before the telephone was invented. I also have pretty bad Tourette's. God, this is just so weird. Joe, we need to show this kind of energy at your 2024 campaign rallies. I'm actually kind of shocked right now. Yeah, Donald, sometimes all it takes is a good cubby biows to make you cummy biows if you know what I'm fucking talking about. Banjo-Kazooie is probably B-tier as well as the Madden movie trailer and Wade Boggs. Yeah, whatever, Barack. Joe, I'm kind of curious now. Does Chris Bryant actually like to be peed on? Kind of sounds like that girl from Access Hollywood. I don't know, Chris. Do you actually like to be peed on? I could have the White House staff boil us some banana tea. I think you would really enjoy the aroma. Joe, is Jill out right now? I kind of want to come over and get in on this. Sure, buddy. Just remind me your name again so I can tell the boys at the gate. And I think we will put Squid Barb in D tier. Also, Joe, what the fuck? I thought we were playing Zone tonight. Are you seriously flaking? Barry, sometimes the forbidden fruit tastes the most sweet. What? I'll bring my replica Coach B dildo. Tell Chris to stay right where he is. 
I'm about to pack my meat wallet. I'll just drag the celebration of Jose Castillo and Luis Valbuena's deaths into A tier. And even though it's not on the channel anymore, I had to include the original hype vid, which I will put into D tier unless there are any objections. They probably only deleted that because it showed the creator's face. I just remember that asshole needing a fucking haircut. That's facts. I wish we could still go back and watch it. It was actually the first upload to the channel in January 2015. Wrong. It was obviously Albert Almora. I'm pretty sure it was the hype video. They were definitely released on the same day, at least. Yes, sir. I'd say a Cubby's orgy in the White House is long overdue. There's still time for you to hop in Barack. Interested? I appreciate the invite, Joe. I really do. But I think I'm just going to play Warzone tonight. Guys, before we hang up, do we need to change anything in this list? I'm quite satisfied with this list, Barry. I would prefer that Chris Bryant would go to S tier, but I suppose A tier is acceptable. Not bad, boys. Joe? I usually leave the shopping list for Jill to make. I just make sure to tell her to buy fruit by the foot and cinnamon Teddy Grahams. She always ends up giving me the chocolate ones, which are dog shit. So gay. No, Joe, what do you think of the tier list we made for the Cubs prospect videos? It looks great. Now you'll have to excuse me, gentlemen. I have a KB to take to the dome zone. Save some for me. The boys are readying my jet as we speak. Well, boys, I'm proud of us. This took a long ass time, but it needed to be done. Yes, justice has been done for the Cubs nation. All right, boys, this is Barack Hussein Obama signing off for the night. All right, see you, boys.